The following video was shown on Channel 7's Today Tonight and demonstrates the power of insight testing in the retail environment. Now to the battle of the sexes and the one question in the long running debate can finally be answered. Yes, men and women do see things differently. The latest technology allows us to view the world through the eyes of the opposite sex. And as researchers discovered, we don't see eye to eye. Here's Brian Seymour. We are now one step away from being able to mind read a person. It's the old cliché. Men think they know what women want. I like just going in and being spontaneous, and it usually works out OK. And women tell men what they want. He could do with a few things on his desk, I think. Now science can give us a revolutionary insight into how the other half looks at the world. Go straight ahead of me. Partners Bill and Viv volunteered to be our guinea pigs. Once they put on the mobile eye tracker, we can see in the crosshairs exactly what they're looking at, allowing researchers for the first time to monitor vision and behaviour, which we'll see differs wildly between the sexes. OK, Viv, we're now going to send you out to shop with those glasses on. I'm going to put a bum bag on you and we'll put a recording device in there and just shop as you'd normally shop. Right. OK. This week, men and women all over Australia are out shopping for each other. But how do the sexes differ when it comes to finding that special present for the opposite sex? Watch for their different reactions when our charity worker plant tries to stop them midway through their mission. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of a show here. Oh, are you? Can you? Oh, you sure you wouldn't be interested in level up? Not now. Sure. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay. While Viv was convivial, Bill was far more abrupt. No, I don't. I mean, filmed me. No, you can't. Come Both in. spent about 15 minutes and $120 selecting their gifts for the opposite sex. I ended up buying the bag, which I thought would be really good. It's all leather. While Bill was hesitant to ask for help, Viv roped in sales staff to assist in her search. I think he'll like the presents and there's a little special offer there too that in January he can get a special discount off some more books. We then asked Bill and Viv to buy a present for themselves. Remarkably, Bill bought pretty much the same thing for himself that Viv did, books. While Viv purchased something more personal. Do you think Bill would have bought you something like No, this? no way on earth. Why not? He'd be too embarrassed. He wouldn't know what size to buy, what colour to buy. G'day, Later, Mark. we'll see what our couple really think of the gifts they chose for each other. Given that up to 80% of what enters our heads does so through the eyes, the applications are wide and varied. Besides gender bending, hey, Tony Bailey from it's Access it's Testing, the developers of eye tracking, says the system allows advertisers to see precisely things? what catches our eye. And here, Wallaby Steve Larkham is wearing the glasses during a training run. You test what the world-class player does, and then you test what the up-and-coming player does, and you coach them to bridge the gap and the difference. Now, back to the battle of the sexes and the supermarket, each given the same list and budget. I think I might even be quicker than Viv at this because uh, I've got a fair idea. Most supermarkets seem to be laid out in a, in a roughly logical order. In fact, supermarkets are laid out with women in mind. It took Bill 13 minutes to fill his basket, four minutes longer than Viv. When he was standing in front of the Vegemite, he simply didn't see it. So men can't see what's sitting right in front of them? We don't have, we can't scan the shelves as well as women. A typically male trait, according to psychologist Stephen Wan. This is a phenomenon called inattentional blindness. Inattentional blindness. And this is the phenomenon that, that allows a magician to right in front of you, distract you, and then pull a rabbit out of the hat. Women see more colour than men and have a wider field of vision. Men have better tunnel vision and depth perception which came in handy in our next test, finding the car keys lost somewhere in the lounge. Bill was twice as fast. Oh, here they are. His overall scanning technique far more effective than Viv's process of elimination approach. Uh -huh. It's really good that we become more sensitive to each other and try to understand the nature of the other gender uh, because to most of us, the nature of the other gender is a total mystery. Finally, it's time to swap presents and find out if they're appreciated. I thought it was great. It was wonderful. There she went four books and uh, the books I would have bought myself. I liked what Bill bought me, but I probably won't use it. Unfortunately, there are still some things science can't solve. 
And the research team has told us men do have tunnel vision and that's a key reason women are better at multitasking.